So, how you doing, buggies? It is me, Jesse D. How are we? Hopefully, okie dokie. So, I come to you in my pajamas right out of work saying, I am working on things. What I'm doing right now is working on pocket dice. Pocket dice is a certain thing where my friends and I from the Ponies with Pockets Productions group decide, we decide on certain days when we're all available, if possible, we decide to record sessions. And what happens is game immersion because we do intend to play the game seriously, but we also have a little bit of fun with what we do. So it's a little silly. But it's still a bit serious, so I have uploaded three, well, I want to say three sessions because I've uploaded two whole sessions, but I have uploaded a, let's say, three quarter amount of another session that I split into a half hour version because I was trying to experiment with what would possibly work on YouTube. And I didn't really quite know what to do for D&D videos because I am a frickin' D&D noob and I don't really follow many uh, podcasts that do D&D. So me doing the whole A and B side of things with a D&D group, that was new to me. And I have been figuring out ways to try and keep things entertaining. So what I'm doing right now is adding music to the videos for the Pocket Dice sessions. That way it feels like whatever's going on is actively happening in a game. Kind of like you get any background noise for whatever environment you're in. And for example, if the microphone can pick it up, you will hear crickets outside my window because I am in a basement inside a slightly forest forested area and... It's nighttime, and as I've told a lot of you dudes before, I work second shift, 3 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. So whatever happens for the next two hours after work is completely up to me, and whatever happens for the four to six hours before work the next day, who knows if I wake up on time. Honestly, I've been struggling to wake up on time because I'm also trying to be adjusted on a medication. This is 40 milligrams. <clears throat> Sorry, voice crack. I try to recover from voice cracks. This is 40 milligrams. I am taking 80 milligrams. This is an antipsychotic. What I'm not sure of is if it's affecting my sleep, which is affecting my personal schedule. So I was gonna try and say business schedule, but business is kind of my job and my career. Overall, it affects my personal time to actually do anything. What I have right here is Pocket Dice 4 with outtakes. The outtakes are outside, but... Excuse me. But that's besides the video. <laughs> I'll be working on Session 5 next, and I am still way behind on the Pocket Dice videos, and I really would prefer I get these videos, for the most part, out as soon as possible. Once we get closer to the sessions that are most recent, I will slow down output on the videos, and then from there, it'll just be probably a weekly or bi-weekly thing, depending on what happens with the Pocket Dice group. We're trying to do weekly, but it might be bi-weekly, and we never know for certain because when you have several people with several work schedules and several life schedules, it's kind of hard to roll the dice just perfectly. So I'm sorry that was a bad joke, but you get the point. It's all a matter of chance. As far as my stuff, I'm going to focus on that a little bit later because pocket dice is more focused on, sorry, Pocket Dice is the main focus. Pocket Dice is what I wanna focus on first because it has active sessions going that require me to actually be up to date with. And I have not been up to date for over a year. Because 
I fell into procrastination habits and anxiety habits. I would be too afraid to do any editing because I felt like I couldn't do it, I couldn't stick to it, it wouldn't come out good, or there'd be some other reason that would make me feel like I can't stick to doing one thing for more than 10 minutes. And mental health freaking sucks, but I didn't actually get out of the habits until, well, my friends ended up being a little bit more serious. And joking, a little bit. It was tr trying to be like a, hey, uh, we've kind of been waiting a little bit, um, what's going on? So, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna try and edit a session, put it out, see what happens. So now, I have three recent sessions on the Ponies with Pockets channel. They're sitting at about 200 views each, which is small for the channel, considering it's a Hooves and Assistant channel. And I want to say a Hooves and Assistant channel because it's the Hooves and Assistant channel, which has inspired a lot of other channels. But for the channel that hosts audio plays mainly, it hasn't gotten much reception other than a little bit here and there for the gaming side of it now that I have helped bring gaming back into the channel. If you've been around for a while, you might remember Team Fortress 2 with, how did I do it? Ponies with Pockets Gaming versus Man vs. Machine in the long version of it, so it was PWPG versus MBM. I did that with an earlier portion of the crew, and I thought that was pretty fun, and we want to try and bring that back. And Minecraft, we're trying to figure things out with the crew currently and see who wants to do what and who wants to maybe even make an event or something for Minecraft. These are just ideas and these are things to look forward to, hopefully, because I thought the gaming side of things had a good reception. It wasn't as big, of course, as Who's Insistent because the big thing about the channel of uh, Points of Pockets Productions is it's known for the audio plays Who's an Assistant and Jot's Journal. So me pulling in new content with the group, I'm a little, to be honest, kind of worried about how it's going, but I shouldn't be because it's a new series and like anything that's new and anything that's not of a popular, well, D&D is popular, but anything that is not of a popular series, I guess, right now. Anything that's not a part of a popular, like, series that's, like, on TV, it's not looked at as much, but I'm not gonna worry about that, because really, I will just say for you, what should be important when it comes to content, and this should be advice for myself, make it fun for you. Worry about everyone else after. If you have fun first, and you enjoy what you do, you are happy, and you keep going with it, because you are happy. If you're doing something that turns into a job and work, you might not be happy. And I hadn't been happy for a long time, and had been stuck in such a habit, a series of habits, that I didn't move forward. So I'm making the push to do the best I can with a respectable schedule so that that way you guys can see stuff that's coming up. So while I am not uploading much here right now, please do check out the Ponies with Pockets Productions channel where you can see Pocket Dice with the crew of Ponies with Pockets Productions. Trust me, we have a lot of fun when we get silly. And when what? Sorry, when we get silly, it gets pretty funny. I was laughing when I was editing, editing, the other night when I heard Frey, one of our crew members, who you might know as um, who's the most recent one. Oh my God, he's the Finch Griffin. He's the main character. How can I forget? Um, Pistol. God damn. Jeez, I fired late on that one. 
So, if you remember Pistol from Flaputa on Who's an Assistant, one of the lines he's... Lines. One of the things he said in the recording was, I'm going to acrobatics the shit out of that rope. And I just laughed because we had to roll acrobatics to climb a rope to climb up a ship. And he just had this moment where he says, I'm going to acrobatics the shit out of that rope. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. And if you look at the thumbnail for session four, you'll say you will see where it says, "I'll fly up there," and Frey actually says, "I'll fly up there," because, as you may know from the Minecraft videos on Ponies of the Pockets, Frey has a habit of silly rambling when he's tired, and unfortunately, we record often at times that's convenient for the west side of the hemisphere, but not the east side of the hemisphere. Yeah, Frey's on the east side of the ocean. So, <laughs> there's a little bit of fun in different ways it happens. It's not to his entire intention, but God damn it, Frey, you're funny when you're a little tired. People can be funny when they're tired, it happens. But anyways. I just wanted to give you guys a general update on the, excuse me, I'm tired as well, Total Gaming X channel, to let you know, we are doing fine, hopefully as a community, but for right now, things are a lot smaller than what they used to be. I am not as active as I used to be, but I am active in an area again, so... Once I am more caught up on Points of Pockets Productions, I will catch up more on Total Gimiacs because you guys who have stuck with me and are watching this do know I am very backlogged on streams. And since I got so backlogged, I stopped streaming. I stopped uploading. But with me moving forward and getting the push I need that I needed to hear I'm getting stuff done on the Pockets channel and we'll get stuff done on the Total Gamiax channel side updates and a last little addition I may split this channel into Total Gamiax and a personal channel because part of me is thinking Sometimes this might be too personal, so I don't know. It's an idea. I'm not going forward with, it, forward with it yet. I mean, you guys let me know what you think. If you think it's okay for me to give you these journalistic updates and do it on this channel, and if you're okay with me doing this kind of update on the channel, let me know. So... I am otherwise going to continue doing it on this channel because it was meant to be a inclusive version of a channel where you would have content and the creators. The creators' lives would get involved so that way you got a bit of a reality to what's going on. But it wouldn't be reality TV, it would be actual reality. Because we all know reality TV is scripted as hell! I mean, we knew that. Kind of whole spiel when we saw Happy, didn't we? Well, I saw Happy. I recommend you do. The comic is good, but I didn't read the comic. But I saw the TV series, so... Saw season one. It was pretty fun. Anyways. That is about it. So... Oh. Sorry to be so late in the video with this. For the Q&A... I'm gonna time a day, I'm gonna try to time a day this week to get something done so that that way things can move forward because, little spoiler alert, I was gonna add a visualizer for the questions. I need to figure out how the visualizer can work if I can get a visualizer, otherwise I may need to edit it in. So as far as Dr. Who's an assist, sorry. I say Dr. Hoop's an assistant because he's a doctor from Dr. Hoop's an assistant, but I want to get something going that 
looks fun, looks cool, and looks enjoyable and involved for a Q&A. I want to make it fun. That's basically what I'm saying. I'm not going to try and spend too much time, but this week I'll look for getting a visualizer thing working for audio clips or audio, but I want to get the actual Q&A recorded this week so that that way you guys can finally get it. So now I feel like I'm finally proving myself a little bit by being able to do the pocket dice recordings or videos. I do recordings by default because I'm the AV guy. Let's see, I got like OBS on here, I got my microphone, but that's just for me. I have a widget on OBS that you may have noticed. But before I get into dev talk, I should probably cut this off here so that that way you guys can move on to the next video. Whichever it may be, whether it's here or Ponies with Pockets Productions. So, I am Jester Dayrama, and I bid you a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, a good night. I shall see you next time. Share the love always. Thanks for watching. Bye.